Oh, oh, sandwiches. I see where you're going with uh -huh. there. And we start in Peru, known for so many great things, Machu Picchu, Lima. 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 You know, Lima, Ohio is where Scott Clark came I from, so I just said. have gone right there all the time. I, I put him up for And, this. of course, llamas. And now <laughs> some people are hoping it becomes better known in the tri-state for its food That's as well. That's right. In tonight's Neighborhood Eats, a Peruvian restaurant that translates to Little Llama. So ah. I would probably say... Lamita, La but really to pronounce it, you say Yamita, and it's located at 80 Carmine Street in the West Village. There's this one thing that Peruvians are commonly proud about, which is their food. Uh, we all grow thinking that that's the, the greatest food on earth. And yet so many New Yorkers have never had Peruvian food, which is where Juan Correa, a former banker, and chef Eric Ramirez come in. Yamita in the West Village is their second Peruvian restaurant in New York City, and this one is fast casual in its approach. Being that New York's a pretty big sandwich culture, like sandwich city, I thought it would be a, a perfect way to showcase, to showcase Peruvian sandwiches. So expect the unexpected and bold flavors. I think it's the combination of everything that they put, this grilled pineapple, in this bacon, chicken, and avocado sandwich is kind of amazing. Well, everything's delicious. I've had four different sandwiches here, uh, each one better than the next. The pork shoulder is so tender, and then, like, it just balances so well with the sweet potato at the bottom. Yeah. About that pork shoulder. It's probably the closest to like a traditional, what we call butifarra in Peru. It's made with jamón del país. We brine it, marinate it in, um, in aji panca and some spices. And then we slow roast it with covered in banana leaves. The pork is sliced thin and served on crusty bread with sweet potatoes, spicy mayo, and shaved red onions, which get a kick from lime juice, cilantro, and habaneros. It's tangy, spicy, creamy, sweet. It touch, touches every note. There are salads, smoothies, sweets, and of course, Peruvian rotisserie chicken, providing people in Manhattan an accessible path to Peruvian cuisine. There's a lot of explanation that goes into what are certain dishes, what are certain ingredients, but uh, once they try it, I think there is, a, there is a, an immediate positive reaction to it. And now Bill's going to go to Lima right away. Mm -hmm. The recipe for the ahi panca marinade is at ABC7 NY. You could use it for pork shoulder. You could really use it for any kind of meat. And it's got a lot of kick. They right? shave it nice and thin. Sweet oh, potato. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, the habanero sauce is very mm -hmm. sorry. saucy.